Canadian Bulldog for wrestling merchandise and memories. That's merchandiseandmemories.com. And welcome to another edition of Bulldogs Unboxings. Now, I have talked at great length about the WWE Superstars line of figures. I believe it was one of the first reviews I ever did on this Bulldogs Unboxing series. And over time, I've come to really love them, what they represent. They are tributes to the AWA Remco figures of old with a more modern WWE spin on things. And they've, they've tackled quite a few WWE legends. So I have collected them, all of them, and it, it's been very tough to be a collector of this series, I'm gonna be honest, because especially in Canada, the first series of figures that came out you know, several years ago now are still in Walmart stores. No word of a lie. You can still find Hulk Hogan and Bray Wyatt and Honky Tonk Man and Ric Flair in Walmart stores. But I, and, and the other thing that, that's been frustrating is the fact that some series have two characters in multiple series, no difference between the figures. And then some of them, you just they've been near impossible to find. You've got to almost go to trade shows or order them uh, on the secondary market or online just to, to have them in your hand. So I have all of them now, and we're gonna to continue today with WWE Superstars Series 10. And I will mention here that there are three figures in this set as opposed to your, normally there have been four. Um, but these are all legends I, I definitely want to have in my collection. Two of these three figures, in fact, have never been reviewed on a Bulldogs Unboxings episode, which is, which is kind of rare in itself. So without further ado, let's take a look at the first figure in this WWE Superstars line. It is the Big Boss Man. And yeah, so Big Boss Man, I, I don't believe I've ever reviewed for this channel. And uh, he's was always a favorite of mine back in the day. And what, you know, I've mentioned this before, but each Superstars line, if you connect the boxes together, it does give you a little bit of a picture. If you, if you are gonna collect them, I guess, mint on card, which I am not. The other thing that's interesting here is normally on the back, you will see like a variety of catchphrases. That is not the case with Series 10. They just, th there was no budget to do catchphrases, I guess. And instead you've just got a, a, a image of the wrestler as well as the other people in the set. Without further ado, let's crack us open some Big Boss Man.
Kurt Angle, and a fun fact, as I am recording this, the 2024 Olympics are going on. By the time you actually see this, it will probably be pretty close to Halloween. So that's how, how far in advance I, I tape some of these things. Uh, just quickly here, again, Kurt does not have any clever catchphrases. He does have clever catchphrases. They're just not represented on this box. They just went with the image, which is which is fine. Like I said, I'm not keeping these, these uh, mint on card in any way, so it doesn't really matter to me. But let's take a look at Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is here, and it wasn't that that long ago that we reviewed the Ultimate Edition of Kurt Angle, which is also sort of from this rough period of time when he first came into the WWF and, and ascended very quickly to becoming champion. This is uh, just a very patriotic outfit with the stars and stripes here. You can see if you pull down that, he also has alternate uh, outfit. Let's see if we can show you here. I don't want to take these things off because they're sore to get back on the right way. But yeah, stars and stripes, you get the idea. He's got the gold medal he won while with a broken freaking neck. Uh, that's that's really cool. It actually came sort of tethered on with a, a little little rubber band gimmick, but I, I did take that off. Uh, he's got the the, the red elbow pads. He's got a, just the face scan is is pretty standard, but a nice like smirk on his face. I like that. And then the uh, the blue knee pads and the white boots. And then on the back here, you've got the USA, and then you've got what is not quite the Tasmanian Devil logo, but it works. It's fine. Um, is this my favorite Kurt Angle of all time? It is not, but I will say it's 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 a decent representation. And if you're doing a WWE Superstars line, this is somebody you absolutely need in your collection. And last but certainly not least is Tatanka. This is certainly the first Tatanka I've ever unboxed on Bulldogs Unboxings. And I know that because this is only the second Tatanka I've ever owned. I also have his Hasbro figure from way back in the day. And that's that's kind of it. So I definitely need some Tatanka in my life and excited to have this one. And once again, just pointing out just an image of him looking kind of sharp on the back here, but no, uh, no yee, 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 catchphrase or anything like that. Let's take a closer look at Tatanka. Tatanka is here and what a banger of a figure this is. Uh, first, we've got to address the, this amazing cape. WWE superstars have done some, some pretty fantastic capes for their figures over the years. Uh, the Undertaker, Papa Shango, Ultimate Warrior, uh, Macho Man, uh, I'm sure I'm, El Vader is another one. They, they're all you know pretty awesome. This is this is another, I love the, the fringes on this and just the color of it is, is amazing. Let's take a look at Tatanka's head scan, which is is fantastic. I love the red streak in his hair, as was the, the fashion at the time. He's got uh, the, the yellow uh, armbands here. Then the, 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 what am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? The uh, logo on his uh, wristbands. Then you've got the tribal symbols on his, on his pants as well. And, uh, and it looks like on his boots too. Just a lot of work went into this one. A lot of love went into this one as well. Um, it is, it just, uh, I mean, considering I only have one other Tatanka to compare this to, obviously this one is a lot better, but it's also just, you know, standalone, it's a decent figure. And as if that weren't enough, I was looking through the, the random bag of hands and much like a big boss man, this also comes with some goodies. So you've got this first, which is a, uh, a necklace that goes around his head. So I will try that in a second. And then you've got this, the a tomahawk. So I, I did not expect either of these things, I'll be honest. In the, in the prototypes I've seen, or the pictures I've seen online, I did not see either of these accessories. So pleasant surprise. Let's, uh, let's just do a little bit of dress up here. Something that's not talked about a lot with these superstars figures is all the heads are removable. They don't advertise it or anything like that. That's how you, the only way you could actually get the, the, head, the cape off and, and put this necklace on. And then his head just it snaps right back on. It looks totally fine. And then you've got one hand has the tomahawk, so he can scalp Kurt Angle's hair or something like that. Um, I like. I think I like the entrance cape better than the necklace because I don't think you can put both on at the same time. But it, it's just cool added value. It's a cool option. Uh, to me, Tatanka is the star of this series and just such an underrated uh, wrestler and figure that uh, this is this is was much, much needed in my collection. Overall, I have to say this is a very welcome 
addition to the WWE Superstars line. My issue is I don't have enough room to display them all, so I may have to figure something out. But uh, you've got three wrestlers from three somewhat different generations here. Um, you know, they all may have interacted at one point or another, but you know, this is kind of them in their, their character primes. Um, so it's really cool to see. Uh, I, I like this, uh, continue to like this collection, and these three are, are very good additions to the set. For Bulldogs Unboxings, I'm Canadian Bulldog, and we'll see you next time.